Hello and welcome to On The Wrist. Today we have a watch with a premier Swiss GMT automatic movement from Islander Watches. This is the ISL 138, which uses a Salita 330-2 automatic GMT movement. As with all Islander watches, this watch has an incredible value proposition and excellent design details. In this video, we'll cover a full technical review of the watch, as well as highlight the design details and features that make it so great. After a quick introduction, we'll get right into it. Before we get started, I do want to clarify that Islander Watch has sent this to me for review. I'll be returning it after I complete the video, but I'd just like to make it clear where the watches come from. Quickly, before we get too far into the video, I do want to explain what GMT means. GMT is Greenwich Mean Time, and with respect to a watch, it means a watch that can track multiple time zones. So you'll notice that the red airplane style hand actually tracks a different time zone, which we'll get a little more into later. So I want to start off by going over the visual design details of this watch. So starting from the center and radiating outwards, we have the aviator style minute and hour hand. And also what I really enjoy is this red airplane style GMT hand, as you can see there makes it incredibly easy to read where the GMT hand is, and that pop of color works so perfectly with the red GMT on the dial. Radiating outwards, the applied indices, I think is an excellent pairing between the solid bar-like shapes as well as the Arabic numerals. The combination of the two make it very easy to read the time at a quick glance, which is the point of any aviation themed watch. The chapter ring on the inside has a 24 hour marker, so that paired with the bezel actually gives you th the, the ability to track three different time zones. You'll also notice that the chapter ring on the inside has a black upper portion and white lower portion to symbolize night and day. Coming out to the bezel itself, it is a sapphire glass insert. So what that means is it's incredibly easy to read, immensely scratch resistant, and has a unique look compared to a ceramic or aluminum bezel. And the bracelet has this nice set of sort of center links coming down with an ultra high polish to really make the pop. And the bracelet is nice and thin, but feels very solid. It's a very high quality feel. The clasp is a nice solid clasp with a very positive click and has the Islander logo on it, as well as access to four micro adjustment points. Now let's pull up the technical specs on the side here. So the diameter is 40 millimeters, an excellent size. The thickness is 12 millimeters, which is not too thick, not too thin. The lug to lug is 46.5 millimeters, and the crystal is a flat sapphire crystal with inner anti-reflective coating. The movement is the Salita SW330-2 automatic GMT movement with a 56 hour power reserve, 28,800 beats per hour, which is eight ticks a second, and is a fully Swiss movement. There's a date window, as you can see, there is 200 meters of water resistance, and the lug width is 20 millimeters, and the bracelet tapers from 20 down to 18. The bezel has a, is a sapphire glass insert, and as you can see there, there's a different color loom on the bezel and the hands, which is such an excellent touch. On the back, you can see the case back here, Islander watches, with the lighthouse, as well as the logo, kind of like a Van, Van Gogh style look to me. So let's now get a couple shots on the wrist. But real quick, let's check what time it is. It looks like it's time to like and subscribe. Did you know that less than 3% of viewers are actually subscribed to the channel? So if you are enjoying this video and like my content, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button because it will significantly help this video in the YouTube algorithm. But thank you for watching and let's get back to the review. Here we have it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, the 40 millimeter diameter and the 46 and a half lug to lug I think is probably one of my favorite sizes. It has very solid wrist presence, but has plenty of space on the wrist, so for larger or smaller wrists, could definitely wear this comfortably. Bracelet is very comfortable with these nice links, easy to get a good fit with so many micro adjustment points on the clasp, and overall I love how the light catches this Pepsi colored bezel. Let's talk MSRP and value. So MSRP of this watch is 895 US dollars. At that price point, you're getting that Salita movement, automatic GMT Swiss movement. I think at that price point, this is incredibly competitive. All of the other features, the sapphire glass insert with regular sapphire crystal, tapered bracelet, all of these features are 
absolutely a great value for that cost. It is no secret that I love Islander watches. I think they consistently are some of the best value for feature set that you can get, and this is no exception. Many watches with the just automatic version of the Salita, the Salita SW200-1, are in the price range of about $1,000. So for this watch to be less than the standard automatic versions I see, at eight, uh, less than $900 with an automatic GMT version is just a spectac spectacular price point offering. And there was nothing in particular about this watch that struck me as needed to be changed or was an issue. So A plus for execution on this watch, and I think this is certainly a great value proposition for anyone looking for a more high-end version of the regular Islander watch. So in closing, I'm a huge fan of this watch, great value, great feature set, but I would love to hear what your opinions are. Please let me know down in the comments. Do you like the design of this watch? What do you think of the price point? Are you as excited as I am that Islander is now doing some more premier versions? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. That's all for me today. This has been On The Wrist. Thank you for watching.